style, you know? We kind of do it all. And that's, that's the point, is, is we don't really have a musical taste. It's that we... Uh, it's more about making everything from scratch. So they're kind of like programs that we're designing. They're like apps, almost. I mean, they are, essentially. And I program a lot of randomness into mine, but that is a really useful stretch, and we use that a lot. And it's often really simple. It's like, okay, uh, I'll start, and I'm going to do this little thing, then we're going to go really big and narrow down, and then focus, and then get really big, and then end suddenly, or something. Like, really simple. My piece uh, tonight is just pure noise. Abrasive. Totally synth sound. Music is written by the composers, performers who are actually on stage, and that's kind of the unique thing about this ensemble, is that there really isn't a lot of repertoire for it. It's a laptop quartet. All the music is written by the uh, composers themselves, and is performed by them, and we rehearse and develop the pieces more like a, a band rather than a traditional ensemble, you know, rather than me coming in and directing the group top down as a conductor would come in to a symphony, say. It's much more driven from the inside out. So people come in with ideas every week. We experiment with them. We bounce off one another. There's a lot of collaboration. It's not really, the pieces are not really improvisational by nature because there's usually a trajectory, an idea of a path through this soundscape that we want to carve out. These are composers who are very interested in exploring color in the same way that a painter might explore color on a canvas in a more abstract way. So the kind of narratives that they create in their pieces are not what you could call traditional narratives, but much more experimental ones.